Hello everybody. On today's lesson, we are going to learn how to use the button of our launchpad as an input and also how to set up the variables for our sketch of our codes. So as you have seen on the previous videos, our MSP430 is able to interact with a lot of external objects like a temperature sensor, uh, booster packs, and also the buttons. So let's start. The first thing we need to do is open on energy. Then go to File, Examples, Digital, and Button. So now it opens up the sketch of the button code. So what this is going to do is going to set up the green LED uh, on, and it's going to be turned off every time you press the button push to. So let's go ahead and upload it to our MSP430. It's going to start compiling. And once it compiles, you should end up with exactly this. Just the green LED on. And every time you, you press the button, it's going to turn off. As long as the button is pressed, it's going to be off. All right, so what is going on? Let's go ahead and analyze our code. So first, we can see that before the loop and the setup, there are some some things that we have and so everything we have here we're just setting up we're just setting up the variables so here we can see that we have const that stands for constant int that is initialize uh, button pin equal to push two and here is same thing just with led pin equal to green led and here we have initialize button state equal to zero all right, so on this part, we, we just put the name of a new variable. We can put whatever we want, but in this case, we, we're going to call it bottom pin. That is going to be equal to the actual thing that we're going to be talking about. In this case, it's going to be the push to. Uh, why push to? Because uh, that's the way that uh, Energia recognizes the push button number two. As you can see here, here's a button two, and it's called seven. P1.5, A5, uh, SEK, or push2. That is the one that we're using right now. <coughs> All right, so, and in the uh, LED pin, we have that it's equal to the green LED. We can also put it that it's equal to, to number 14 or any other of the nicknames, as you can see here. If we put uh, SEL, A6, P1.6, 14, MISO, it will be the same thing as just putting green LED. So, Pretty much, uh, we can say that these are the new names for this. And button state, uh, you will know uh, what is this for uh, in, a, in a little bit. So let's go ahead and start analyzing the setup. So here, on the first line of code, we, ha we have the pin mode. And as you remember on the previous videos, it's just to set up the ascertain pin, that in this case is the LED pin, which is a green LED. We're setting it up as an output. And on the second one, uh, on the second pin mode, what we're doing is we si we're setting up the push to as an input. But here we have something new, that is the pull up. Why don't we just put input? Why do we have to put input pull up? Well, uh, that is going to be always, uh, we're always going to need to put up this uh, with the buttons, and I'm going to explain you why. All right, so here you can see a uh, a drawing or a picture of the sketch of uh, how, a how a button works. So this part is wh where the button is not pressed and here when the button is pressed. So as you can see when it's not pressed, the pin 5 is directly connected to the to the voltage of 3 volts and it's directly connected thank you to the pull-up. This little thing is a pull-up that it's inside of the microcontroller. Uh, and when the button is pressed, the the, the the button opens up a bridge with the ground which is zero volts that it goes directly to the pin 5 so pretty much we can say that when the button is not pressed the pin number 5 is directly connected to the current which gave it 3 volts so it has it has a complete the complete current and when it's depressed uh, thanks to the bridge the current gets dispersed and goes to ground so we have a lower voltage so please remember that 
When it's not pressed, the voltage is higher, and when it's depressed, uh, the voltage is lower. So now let's go ahead and keep talking about the code. <coughs> so what is going on in the loop? So here we have another variable, and that is pretty much directly related to this one. So it's button state is a new variable that is going to be equal to this new program function that is digital read. So what is digital read? Digital read, uh, what it does, it reads, it reads the, the, the status of, of, of a certain pin. In this case, it's reading the status of button pin that, it will, that it's the same thing as push to. So what it does is just is co constantly reading the state of, of our push button number two. So now we go ahead into the next line of code. And uh, what is going on is if, if the button state, which is a push button number two, if the current is equal to hike and the digital right, what it does is to set up the certain LED to set up uh, with high or low voltage to so pretty much just turn it on or turn it off. So in this case, the yellow right is turning on the green LED. So if the button is with current high, that means the button is not being pressed, the digital right is going to turn on the LED. Else, so pretty much if, if it's pressed, the digital right is going to turn the green LED off. All right. So also remember that high, it's, it's also the same as low. Uh, uh, sorry, it's also the same as one. Because remember, high is always one and low is zero. So if we change high to one and low to zero, it's going to be exactly the same thing. So uh, it's also good to know that. And so why, why, why are we using variables in this case? Is this code I know is kind of tricky, kind of confusing, but the main purpose of this code is to, to teach you how to use the variables. So it's really important to learn how to use variables because let's say uh, we want to do the same thing, just we want to use the red LED or a different push button for our, for our MSP430. Now we can just change it here on the, on the variable. We can just change it to red LED, and now all these parts of LED pin, LED pin, LED pin, LED pin is gonna be the same thing as red LED. So actually, uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna have to change it on every single part of the code. So you know it pays off to be lazy sometimes, and it actually helps you a lot uh, whenever you have really long codes. So let's try it just for you to see that it's exactly the same thing, and now it's gonna turn on the red LED. So let's go ahead and upload it. <coughs> right now it's, upload, it's compiling. So now we have the red LED on and it's exactly the same thing. So take your time to analyze the code and I, I what, what if we wanted to do it the other way around to have the LED always off, but whenever we press the button, uh, the LED will turn on. So what do we need to do? So we will need to go here if the button state is equal to what? So if the button state is equal to low, so that means if the button if the button is is being pressed, the green LED is gonna be on, and else so if it's not being pressed the LED is gonna be uh, on right so let's go ahead and blow it sorry here was off let's go ahead and upload it and let's see what happens so we already blowed it and now every time we press it the red LED is gonna turn on so, same thing, uh, just try to play around with the code, try to understand a little better. So remember, this is a kind of trick part. So when the button is not being pressed, the current is gonna be high. And when the button is pressed, the current is gonna be low. So it's actually the same thing as zero, all right? So now I want to show you the code without variables. It will be this one. 
as you can see the difference is really big and uh, this one is really long and this one is really short but it's exactly the same thing just without any variables as you can see here we, we're setting up the green LED as an output and we're setting up the push to as an input then if it's reading the signal of the push to as high so if it's not being pressed the DJR right is going to turn the green LED on else uh, it's going to be off all right uh, let me upload it so you can see that it's exactly the same thing it's exactly the same thing as the original if you press it it's gonna turn off so I guess that for this code it's pretty much all you need to know Remember the constant, and uh, this makes sense because uh, whenever we start the code uh, on our MSP430, the push button is always going to be the same, and the red LED is always going to be the same, so it's going to be always a constant. And the uh, INT is always uh, it's a main part for when we are setting variables; it always goes before. And remember, this is your new the new name. This is the actual thing that is going to be controlling. This is just to set up the state. This is not really important, really. If we take off this, if we take off this and we just put the int here to set up this as the to set up this as the actual variable, is gonna be exactly the same thing. And also, if we take off the constant part uh, here and above, is gonna be exactly the same thing. It's gonna work the same the same way. Just to make sure, you just affirming that it's a con constant. Here is the pin mode that you're already familiarized with, and pin mode again. Remember that pull up is always going to be, uh, it, you're always going to use it when you're talking about the bottom pin as an input. And <coughs> here, another variable, we're just saying that bottom state is the same thing as reading the push button number two. And so here again, if the button is pressed, the, the, the green LED is going to be on. So it's going to be high voltage, else the green LED is going to be off. So I hope you guys learned, learned something today. And on the next video, we're going to be doing something really cool. And now we're going to actually going to be using some parts that are, is going to be a protoboard, uh, a resistor, some, some, st some things. And I'm going to put it, put it in the comments below. So thanks for taking your time to watch my videos. And I hope to see you again. So now things are going to get a little more interesting. We already know a lot of pre written functions. We already know how to code a little bit. So go ahead and keep in tune and thank you very much for your time. Have a good day.